Alanderos, Jamar Davis, and Noah Miller, the goalkeeper for Orange. Here at Cedar Ridge, after Orange wins it, Cedar Ridge 4-1. It's been an elusive feeling trying to get a win here, but Orange got it done here tonight, and they scored the final three goals. Jamar getting the last of them. Jamar, what happened on the play where he scored? Um, I just got sent a really good ball. I saw earlier in the game a lot of the low balls we were sending weren't working, so I kind of chipped it over the goalkeeper and it went in. Did it get frustrating at some points because Jesus was really standing on his head and net there when yeah. the game was even at one? I mean, uh, we have to adjust. Every goalkeeper plays differently. Uh, mm -hmm. We had to get used to that. His, uh, he, play, he has a different style than a lot of the goalkeepers in the conference. Yeah. It's something we had to change and do differently. Omar, you were working hard trying to get loose balls, as you always do, but uh, what made the difference? I mean, Cedar Ridge is a young group, uh, but what do you think made the difference in this game? Uh, I think the fact that in the second half we started talking more. Uh, the balls that they were playing down the middle, we were stepping to them more. So really, when you're pressuring somebody like that, there's no way they're going to they're gonna keep the ball that well. Yeah, and you had to work hard to get some stops. You made some good challenges there, particularly in the first half, to keep them off the scoreboard there. And no, I know you noticed that as well. What's it like having uh, Omar there in front of you, since he's pretty much the, the main like, man on the back line? It's almost like having a brick wall sometimes. He's uh, there. Having a what now? Having a brick wall sometimes. He's, <laughs> he's always there when I need him. And even though we might not always be communicating the best all the time, he's always there for me, and he's always leading our defense and pushing yeah. up our line and everything. He does a great job right there. Yeah. You, you had the loss against um, Riverside, and since then you've been playing much better soccer as of late. Um, after that 3-0 loss, you um, – Came back this week, got the win over Hillside, which was expected, and getting this result tonight. Where do you guys think you're going to go from here? Um, I think the only way we want to go up, uh, like the only thing we want to do is go up from here. We want to play the ball quicker. We want to communicate better. We want to do everything we were doing in this game in the second half better mm -hmm. against every team we play. You've been right there with East Chapel Hill. You lost at their place 2-1, but you were competitive with them. You've been knocking on the door here. What do you think is going to make the difference um, trying to get to knocking off teams like Cedar Ridge and Northwood and getting to the upper echelon against ultimately the conference favored in Chapel Hill. Anybody got an opinion? I think if we just like push ourselves every day in practice and just continue to do better, like practices have been getting harder as I noticed. And we're starting to work a lot better as a team, communicating more, moving off the ball quicker, better touches, one, one touches, two touches, not so many touches. So we're looking a lot better in practice. And I just think if we keep doing that every day, we're going to be a lot better and be more competitive for those teams. Yeah, Omar, you got – it's been a long time since Orange has had a winning record in, in soccer, and now you're three games over 500. So, so that'd be a big step. Yeah, it? the only thing we really want is to make playoffs, see how much damage we can do when we're there. Yeah, There's some curiosity to see how you can do against the bigger teams, right? Yeah. All right, guys, great job tonight. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.